everyone, and welcome back to Coral Island. Sorry, I am not all that prepared. I was texting my husband. Okay, let's see. Let's get into the settings, turn the volume back up. I have run out of money officially. <laughs> I actually got all the way down to, I think, like $600, and I was like, oh, no! All, all of my payout money from the beginning is, uh, is gone. I have been playing a lot of Coral Island lately, although, to my surprise, I didn't play any video games yesterday. Although, that has something to do with today's big surprise. But... The surprise can wait for a little bit because I don't want to deal with it right now. Let's see. It's going to be cloudy. Okay, so we have sprinklers. We're good. We love sprinklers. I'm in need of a... I, it's fish. I, how do you, how does one even pronounce that? Okay, Valentina wants a sunflower. Do I have any sunflowers? Do I have any planted? I don't even know. Probably, maybe. I don't know. I feel like now I need to go get some. I probably planted them. I don't have any of the seeds left, so it's kind of 50-50 whether I did or not. How's everyone doing today? I hope I have found you all well. So we're in fall. I found out the hard way that you really should have a silo by the uh, by the end of fall. So yeah, we'll be working on that. And actually, it's good if you have at least two. I procrastinated really bad, and uh, yeah, I encountered a lot of problems. my husband texting me again, or is it the same text that's coming through multiple times? Same text. Okay. And now we let the chickens out. Okay. That's working. Got some chili peppers. Offers and stuff to open. Thursday. Are they open Thursday? Yes. Just gotta make my way up there. So we'll probably put another crop plot. That way we for sure have sunflowers. And I'm pretty sure that I did plant them. I'm just not 100% sure. So I'd rather plant extras just to be safe. Sam, when do you open? Nine. Everyone opens at nine. Like, I'm sorry. Those are kind of lazy hours. Everyone's like, oh yeah, we just slept in. Or I didn't plant sunflowers because I don't have access to those seeds yet. Huh. Okay. What is my 
rank. E. Probably need to be ranked, uh, town rank D. Well, darn. I swear, sometimes it takes way too many points to actually level those things up. Well then, I guess we're not accomplishing that. Like, I think every donated item is like three points. And then like healing the, um... Rosie, perfect timing. Could you lend us a hand with this? Oh, is this what I think it is? Rosie, you stay down there and keep an eye out for any issues. Charles, you pivot around from back, and Millie, you push from the middle. <laughs> Can anybody catch what's happening right now? <laughs> pivot! 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 <laughs> Scott, it's not going to pivot anymore. It will if we all pivot together. Come on. Pivot! It's a friend's reference. Scott, stop saying pivot. The sofa's, the sofa's not moving. Just one more try. Pivot! Alright, shoot. It really won't budge. Rosie, from your perspective down there, what do you think? Uh, it's probably... The only thing to do, it would be lift it over the railing. Maybe we should just call a moving company. Good. Good idea, Millie. Maybe you're right, Millie. Alright, let's get this back downstairs. Thanks for trying, everyone. I guess some things are just not meant to pivot. Love the uh, subtle friends reference. Now the question was that Scott's heart event, or was it Charles, or it could have been Millie? But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it must have been Scott. a perk to like increase the chances of getting um, artifacts you haven't gotten before because yeah I've donated like most of those hi Pablo Mark gave me the light uh, the lowdown on the cavern with more gates open there's a shot at some top-notch ores hand them over I'll make your tools sharper than ever See, that's all well and good, except for the fact that everyone always has gold as one of the most valuable and, like, the, like, usually third tier. Well, the problem is, is gold is actually an extremely soft metal. So, I don't know how they intend that to work. Boom, butterfly. Ha ha! There are a couple bugs that I'm like, I don't understand how you're meant to catch them. Because no matter what I do, I have not been able to catch them. They're, they always just become aware, like, too fast. But, like, the... There are little, like, scent things you can do to make it to where, like, the bugs don't notice you as quickly. But those ones, 
the only ones that I have are for crawling bugs and for like ocean critters and stuff. Oh look, it's a little woolly bear. I think I've already yep. Oh I have not donated a little woolly bear yet. Why is my eye wandering? It's been, it's been a long couple days. <laughs> the uh, surprise has uh, kind of worn me out. I'm excited for it though. I'm excited to share it with everyone. <gasps> Hi Mac. Scarf, it's Anne's. Why, does it just look weird? It's warm. I love that he's borrowing his sister's clothes. Gosh dang it. I didn't want to eat it. I wanted to give it. <gasps> well, I've already given him two gifts anyway. I always hate when something like that happens. I'm like, I didn't want to eat it. Silver ore and silver kelp. Very nice. Let's go see if there's any good forage down here. Ooh. That thing I know I need. A monarch caterpillar. Now the question is, do I already have one? Ooh, I have not donated or offered one. What about you? Nope, we're good on that one. Yeah, like Stardew, I kind of learned where all the bugs and everything were and like when they would show up. Hi, Anne. Paul and Zoe teamed up to play pranks on me last week. They put a cutout picture of a face inside a jar in the fridge. My heart jumped for sure. I might have jumped too. I don't remember. They think they're so funny. That, that is kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anne. Just trying to get the bug catching skill up, so if there's like easy things to catch, might as well catch them. Okay. And then of course the music's like non-existent. How much does it cost? For a silo again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the problem. I need resin. Anymore, I don't think. Oh, I do. I do have a tap. Okay, so which one? I think this one is the one that gives resin. I hope so. Is it though? That is an excellent question because I know that one of the trees gives syrup. 
One of them gives, um, what was it called? I think some kind of like other sap. Maple syrup, nutty sap, and resin. But which one gives resin? Okay, so it is a pine tree that gives resin. Sweet, I got it right. Okay, so now that should work on producing. Okay, I do have another sprinkler, but like I said, we don't even have access to the seeds yet. So I'm going to go donate this bug. Oh, not there. Over here. So we still need the yucca moth and the tiger beetle. And a couple ocean critters. Let's go over to the cafe. I can do at least a little bit of mining. Are we still in the water one? I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, okay, we haven't even been in the water one. Okay, that's, that's... Ooh, that is a lot of ore. It is about time we actually upgrade our pickaxe, too. Why does Rock Domino seem to work so much better on this one? Okay, I am going to hit this, though, since... Since it's practically free. Okay. I swear, on mine, like, even though it's 10% chance, and so, like, no matter what, the odds are always kind of the same, I never get Rock Domino. Like, maybe one in, like, I would say maybe, like, once per, like, mining session. Does not happen very often for me. And now it's just happening all the time. because I need the I need the loot that's actually one of the like last things that I'm waiting for on my personal playthrough is I need um, what is it the tough meat and uh, one of the other things I think I finally got the slime one or the yeah slime goop Down to uh, level five, almost a layer five. I 
And would you look at that? We ran out of energy. I don't understand why they drop so little stuff. Like, the, the drop for that is just ridiculously low. Because I've already finished, like, I've already been through all of the layers of the mines. And I've already completed the ocean stuff on my other one. And I'm still having problems. That one was like impossible for me to get on my other one. Thank the Lord. Okay, well, I got it. <laughs> I don't feel particularly satisfied having gotten it, but... Especially not after the freaking crap I had to go through on my other one. Man face stink bug. I swear, some people, like... Sometimes when I look at, like, the scientific names and stuff of insects and, like, their common name, I'm like... Like, why? Why, why did you decide to name a bug by this name? Because it's faster. Have I unlocked the fast travel point? I don't even know. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I'm just doing this uh, way, in a way more complicated matter than I actually need to. So the two. It's so quiet. Like Ben, how does that hurt your knees? Why do I keep going to collect reward? The one thing that I also still have not really done is the fishing. I don't like the fishing in this one because it's really actually kind of a pain in the butt to get the fish. So not only is the mini game hard, but you I also find myself drawing up trash more than anything. to bed. At least I'm working on the sap, like, early in the season. Trinket looks happy today. Well, that is good. That is good for Trinket. The sun will be out tomorrow, because of course it will be. The harvest was- Oh, I'm really bad at this. There's, like, practically no way to win your first year. So, you're going up against that guy from last time, uh, is it Bobby, who, he's just a jerk, and he has, like, all, like, really nice stuff. So, um, there's six categories that you have to fulfill. There's vegetables, fruits, flowers, coop products, barn products, and artisan products. And yeah, no, that guy... Like, absolutely kicks butt. I, I actually don't think there is a way to win your first year. If there is, I did not find it. But yeah, he's got like really late. I think all of his products are like osmium quality. It's ridiculous. I'm getting so hungry. 
there are days when I wake up and it's like, oh no, like, I'm not feeling hungry at all. Like, I can stream for like a couple hours and totally fine. And then there's other days like today where it's like, oh, oh, I'm hungry. I think it's because I had dinner a little bit early. I had spaghetti. What I really wanted was Japanese food, but that's expensive, so I did not get Japanese food. I was a good girl, and I ate at home. <laughs> Which, okay, no matter how, like, I'm like, yay, okay, I did good, I ate at home. It Sometimes it just doesn't help. I'm like, oh. But I really wanted that other thing. Okay. Why was I going into town? I don't even remember. Hi, Valentina. I'm sorry. I won't be able to fulfill your request. Let's... You know, as boring as it is, I think I actually just want to work on clearing out the farm. I know it's going to be dreadfully boring for you guys, but it's one of those, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. Because I don't do anything off stream for this. So we all get to sit here through the monotony of clearing out the, uh, the farmland. Can't even actually clear it all up because I don't have a high enough level. Um, actually, none of my tools are high enough level. That's fine. I actually finally got the whole cooking cleared out on my personal one, and it took forever! Because when you keep running out of stamina, like, left, right, and sideways. It can get a wee bit annoying. I also hate that I mix the two different types of sprinklers. <laughs> I really, really wish that I had just stuck with either sprinkler one or sprinkler two. I don't know why, I prefer sprinkler one just because like, I don't know, the three by three is just, they're nice, they're, they're pleasing to look at. I'm just remembering like how many errands I have to do today. I got a lot of stuff that needs done in one day. I swear, sometimes the hitboxes get a little wonky in this game. Yep, the, uh, just the amazing part of having to do this. Uh, I know that, like, it's supposed to help you get, like, a head start on materials. And it's also kind of a little bit of a challenge. But I always hate, in every single farming game, they're just like, okay, now you have to clear all this stuff out. I'm like, okay. Like, I get, I get that our grandfather or whoever left us like, some derelict property, but like, come on. At least have the option to like, pay to have somebody clear it out. That is an interesting thing. I don't think I've ever actually seen any like farming game where like you're given a choice to just have somebody clear it out. Or, like, there's a game mode where you can do that. I know there's probably, like, mods and stuff for it, but, like, actual, like, vanilla game. I don't think I've ever seen that. How interesting. It's, like, noon and we're already exhausted. Yeah, 
Okay, we're gonna go up to the hot springs because I don't feel like wasting my food on this because food is kind of a pain to get. Oh. I hate when it does that. I always forget the best way to go to actually get up there. So we're just going to go this way and do some foraging. <laughs> the sound is so peaceful yet so freaking quiet. I like to put on the auto DJ, but the problem is, is when I'm the auto DJ, like I have to go in and sit there and put all the songs in and then it just takes forever. That and sometimes I'm like, I don't think people would like my choice of music. So how is everyone today? I hope I have found you well. <sighs> tired. Very tired. And I think that's because, like, my husband kept waking me up. Like, all throughout the morning. He's not a very quiet person when he wakes up first. So, no matter what, like, when I wake up early in the morning, I'm like, okay, be quiet as a mouse. Like, don't do, don't make any loud sounds. I'm always making sure the door doesn't, like, pop or anything. Is that pop one? Oh, why, well, yes, it is. Any plans for this weekend? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to make plans? I have actually officially decided to marry Pablo in mine, so I'm actively trying to woo him now, which is weird because I swear my relationship with him in like all my playthroughs um, just like develops very naturally, and like most of the time with everyone else like the people I'm trying to get hearts with it's like oh my gosh like I'm only at three hearts Pablo for some odd reason I'm automatically like way higher than everyone it's like oh I got four hearts with Pablo I'm like I never even tried I'm like is it just because I like talk to him when I go into the um the blacksmith shop I mean it's the only thing that makes a lot of sense but like Okay, we are at full energy. Why does everyone else get a really cute bathing suit and we're just immediately put in this, like, drab gray, like, two-piece? But come on. Yeah, the whole leveling system is kind of a pain. So I, was, I saw one of the unlockable areas, I'm like, it really is just a giant pain in the butt. Because I know there's an area that I haven't unlocked before, but it's getting so difficult to actually find things that like you haven't found before. And like I said, I've been, like I've completed the, the ocean I've done all that stuff, and I still, I think I'm rank C. Oh, like, that was a hard one, C. Ooh, that thing. I can donate that. And now we're back at it. Sometimes it feels like a waste of time 
to just sit here and clear everything out. I'm like, I could have been in the mines, I could have done this, I could have done this, and then I'm like, okay. Well, I mean, you're still increasing, like, your mining skill and stuff with the rocks and just, mm. just trying to make myself feel better. Okay, let's go back over here. So Hubs and I are watching the show and we're in the last season. Uh, it was kind of a, a short show, but it's called Lie to Me. And after season two, I was like, oh, like this is, I, this is actually really good. Like, I wonder where they're going to go with it. And then I asked my husband, I was like, babe, I was like, why did they stop after like three seasons? And I'm like, and season three was short. So season one had 13 episodes, season two had thir uh, 22 episodes, and season three had 13 episodes. I'm like, why, why would they do that? And he's like, the ratings tank, like, really bad. I see what they mean now. They, like, took the characters in, like, a whole different direction. And then they started, like, reusing, like... On one, I'm like, they're like, oh yeah, and it's like secretly his son. I was like, we've already seen like four or five episodes where it's like secretly their kid. I'm like, mm. I'm like, can, can we get a new, like, a new shocking plot line going? And then we were comparing it to The Mentalist, and he's like, well, I mean, you know, The Mentalist went on for a long time. I'm like, well, I'm like, The Mentalist also had a, like, underlying story that was being told so if you know if the writers ran out of a unique way to you know make somebody past tense uh, it's like oh well we'll just throw in an episode about red john so i'm like it had that going for it it had kind of a, a safety and I, honestly i think that was a big factor on why um the mentalist kept going was because even if the like the regular cases were getting boring like people still wanted to know who's red john like you know what is his motivation people were still in it for that so i guess there's that I find it really interesting that these trees can actually fall in any, like, any of the four cardinal directions. Because, once again, most trees, it's a side-to-side -side thing. But these ones can fall in any direction. Which, I mean, kind of makes it handy if you're, like, next to a, like, a body of water or something you're like oh i don't want to like cut the tree and have it fall into that you can just like shimmy your way around unless it's like right up against it no no not even then because then you could do it front or back okay quick transfer okay so after this next day i will go grab the surprise and yes it is a physical thing so it, it will be at the end of the episode but I will I will still reveal what the surprise is trinket looks happy today hello trinket I like I swear in year one I never really worry about the birthdays but I have bigger fish to fry and of course, the sun will be out. <sighs> a pumpkin. Pumpkin, I could probably do. I 
I learned it that way too late in the game. I'm like, oh yeah, you can just harvest with your scythe. I'm like, oh. Wish I had known it earlier. Okay, now for the animals. Then I'll actually take that honey, because that is one of the artisan items. Or it's like the rare artisan items. Oh no, we have a sick cow. We have a sick moo cow. Dorothea. Dorothea is sick. It's a good thing I bought a crap ton of medicine. I didn't mean to grab that many, but I did. Okay. <laughs> and then this medicine is a miracle because it works instantly. <gasps> she has revived! I also find it slightly concerning that you can still milk them after. I'm like, isn't that like supposed to be like not good if the cow is sick? Like I feel like the quality would be somewhat diminished. I still always forget that I named these ones after mushrooms. Because we have what? It's shiitake, chanterelle, portobello, and button. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I love that naming scheme better than anything I've come up with on my other ones. Okay, give me that. Okay. Let's take this over. And here we go. So they want kimchi, wine, fermented goat cheese, and white truffle oil. I don't even know where to find white truffles. So waiting on all that. But I think you have to be rank D to unlock goats, so I have not even been that far. Um should I Okay, I will bore you guys by doing the like clearing again, so we'll go over to the mines. Do a little bit of mining, some combat. I ended up with so much excess stone on my other one. I think at one point I had literally like five stacks of stone and was like, okay, that's too much. I don't know what items you get from what um, monsters, I guess you'd call them. Like, I mean, obviously the slime goop comes from slime, but, like, the other stuff, and only the bat wings, but the rest of it is confusing. And with the drop rates being so freaking terrible...
to just find two things at a time. Cursed fragment and wild seed. See, I don't even know what the fragments are for. Like, some of the some of the monster loot, I'm like, I don't even know what this is used for. It's probably used in, like, crafting recipes. But nothing that I've unlocked so far. And, I mean, even as far as I am, like, I'm, I think spring year two? So I feel like we're kind of on track with our, like, my skills and everything, or maybe even a little behind on where I would normally be at a farming sim. I don't know, I find that leveling in this game is just, like, slightly harder. you had to be stuck in there. Also, like, having this many ore nodes, like, this close together, that never happened in, the, like, the copper area. Would you look at that? Although I am gonna fight this thing. See nothing. Yay, level ten. Okay. Okay, maybe we will do a bit more clearing because. I don't want to sit here and waste all of my time. Like, if I can't get to the next level of the mine, I don't want to sit here and, like, try? Because it's always so frustrating when you can't get to that next level and it's like, oh, you're going to pass out. It's like, ah. Oh. start making bars. And then, uh, yeah, that thing. I have no idea. I need to make more chests. For the clearing. So now that we finished Outlast, or er, yeah, I'm trying to think of what new scary game I want, and I'm like, I'm thinking, I think Audio had talked about wanting Amnesia. Because I have Amnesia the Dark Descent, so like the oldest one. Um, I have that one. I have Until Dawn. I do have Outlast 2, but I'm not exactly jonesing to put that one up. Like, the first one was scary enough. This time I actually will just straight up eat some stuff.
I never seem to know what to do after, like, I've run out of stamina. I'm like, can I, like, go talk to people? The social aspect of real life and farming sims just, uh, I just don't vibe with it. Especially, like, whenever there's, like, friendship decay, I'm like, come on, you're telling me that just because I have don't talk to this person, like, every single day, that they're just like, oh, yeah, no, we're like, huh, who are you again? Like, come on. Honestly, I think this is more about the townspeople than it is about me. Because I still care about these people. Okay, so Mark, we've already given two gifts. Macy, we already... Holy cow, Mark! I didn't realize we were at six. Six hearts with Mark. Oh, but everyone else is just like, one heart, one heart. Oh, see? Pablo's got three, Surya's got three, Waku's got two. Everyone else is just like, one, one, none. I'm like, oh my gosh. Hello, sir. I personally never saw the appeal of living here in Starlet Town. It's a bit too sleepy for my taste. Well, then why do you live here? Also, your ex-wife lives here. Your child lives here. Your two cousins live here. Surya, why are you walking through the city center wearing a swimsuit? Nina is smart and humble. I feel like I could talk to her all day, and I usually have a hard time chatting with people. But with her, it just flows, you know? Ooh, he got a crush. I want, uh, okay, I'm, like, so tempted to actually run another playthrough, because Surya was the one I had originally chosen. I picked Surya, and then I went on to Mark, but then I was like, okay, we're marrying Mark in the, in the stream playthrough, so it's like, I don't, I don't want to marry, like, I don't want to marry him twice. Fishing isn't my thing. If I had, I could if I had to, of course. What type of person couldn't fish or make their own food? I love how rugged he is. I want to get a new book to read. What should I get? Zoe. It's so... We're going to have a niece. That's really interesting. That you could have, um... Like, extended family? I guess? Because in Stardew, if you marry Sam, you can have a brother-in-law. Who's a child, which is a little strange, but yeah, you can have a, a brother-in-law. Um, you can have a sister-in-law if you marry Sebastian. Brother-in-law, again, if you marry Maru. So it's like, there's like that, but it's like, oh yeah, like I'll have a sister-in-law and another like brother-in-law and a niece. I really wish though that these games would like change the dialogue. Because, like, okay, so when we, <laughs> when we marry Mark, because I, I think this is a foregone conclusion, um, it would be really cute if she, like, called us her aunt. And, like, if Anne referred to us actually, like, as her sister. Because then you end up with games like Stardew, and when you marry Sebastian, she's just like, have you met my son? That's what, like, Robin says, and you're like, um, yeah. Yeah, I kind of married him. It's like those connections aren't made. <laughs> okay, we are drawing to the end of the day. Is everyone ready for the surprise? Like I said, I have to go get it, but... Okay, and the tap's working on the sap, so we'll have that. Hopefully, I, I really actually want two silos by the end of the season, but... We'll just have to see, because I think it's 300 stone per thing. 
I am running quite low on stone. Oh no, I hate when I hit the sort function because I had them actually sorted by season. Oh, that's gonna be fun. You know what? You know what? No, we're gonna. We're gonna redo this. Because that's actually going to, like, make me upset. I had it organized so well. Okay, so that's fall, summer, fall, summer, summer, or fall. Like spring and summer. I'm carrying tomatoes. Summer. That's a spring, that's a spring. Summer or fall. Spring, 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 summer, 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 summer. Summer and fall. Okay. Yeah, I hate when I do that. I'm like, I had it organized for a reason. So we'll end the day, I'll go back to the menu, and then surprise. Okay. Let me go get it. Hang tight for a second. I don't know if they'll make any noise, but come on, girls. Are you gonna make some noise? Are you gonna make? Are you gonna make some noise? Come on. There you go. Artemis, are you gonna make some noise? Well, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them very well, but I have not one, but two kittens. They are very tiny kittens. They're very sweet kittens, except they smell like tuna. Come on. Come on, girls. I'm gonna make a noise. Come on, Athena. Artemis. Artemis. They are, they're a little shy and a little sleepy, but yes, I have kittens, finally, and I love them so much. I got them on Saturday. So we have Athena who is a like variegated gray color. And then we have Artemis, who's like a dark charcoal gray. But uh, yeah, the lady who I got them from said, oh yeah, they're like nine to 10 weeks old. Lies, web of lies. These kittens are like five to six weeks old. They're still itty bitty kittens. So today I have to go get them more wet food because I bought dry food thinking, oh, I'll mix in just a little bit of wet food and you know they'll kind of transition onto it. Well no, they're they're babies. They're baby babies. So yeah, no, I'm gonna have to uh, get some more wet food because that's what they'll be eating for a while. I know my girls. I know my girls. I guess I can finally post pictures to Discord. I was waiting. I was like, no, like I don't wanna show it yet. So, if anybody's interested, you can hop on my Discord. I'll put it in the general. No, my girls. You cannot jump. That, that would hurt. Well, at least you're making noise now. There we go. Okay, I have posted pictures of my little kitties. 
the little kitter beans. They are so stinking cute. They, even though they're very, very young, they already have very distinct personalities. And uh, it's really funny because Artemis is definitely more food motivated. Uh, Athena is more like love and affection motivated, except they can't stand when the other has one of them. So <laughs> they, uh, they are very jealous too, which is, no, no, you cannot jump on my desk. No, no, not allowed. Not today. Mm -mm. Nope. Quit it. So yeah, it's, it's been an adventure, but let's go raid Mr. Khan. But thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back later this afternoon with an episode of my Discord member choice. But until then, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the afternoon, and I hope to see you guys then.